I knew you were sick. Brian, hey, Brian. Is it, is it stream, no. Brian, you can't walk away from your broadcast. You're live. Is it now streaming to the website? Yes, it is. We're live. I can't believe I, I failed. Mistakes happen. And then it's going to build back up. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. So what happened with the camera? It, did, that the, it wasn't working properly, so I'm going to have to figure it. I'm going to have to take it home and look at it. All right, because the minute you plugged in the cable, the uh, mo the monitor on your uh, camera went out. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to take some a look at it again. We're on the stream. James, what's your, uh, where, where, you, where, 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 are you, where are you from? What town? What? No, 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 no. Hold on. Oh. I can't actually hear you. Because of the noise. I think you said Milton. Are we already started? Yeah. We started. Milton, Milton Mass. And Barbet. After two frames, uh, Bob Lee has uh, two tens with a 20, and he's starting his uh, third frame right now. Bob looks really, really uh, incredible today on this uh, December 9th, 8th, 9th of 2022. Uh, bowlers can't be discouraged from knocking out one pin, so Bob's gonna knock them all down, and I'm pretty sure he's gonna get a ten on this box. Uh, Bob Lee's been bowling for a very long time. He's a really, really good pro, uh, and he's uh, see that's what I'm talking about. Three tens in a row after three frames. Now, he is a really good opponent today. He's uh, bowling against James Humes. Uh, he uh, resides from Milton, Massachusetts, and uh, he'll be up next. Uh, and Bob has two more frames to go. Now, this, this is an easy frame to uh, get a spare on if you hit it right. I'm pretty sure Bob could do that. Uh, nope, missed a spare, but he has some lumber in front of that wood right now, in front of that pin, and here he goes. Oh, he just missed it. So his streak of tens came to an end at the four frames, and he has a uh, 39 after four. And Bob is bowling on alley 15 here at Timberlane's uh, Bowling Alley in Abington, Massachusetts. Very nice shot in the fifth frame. He has the diamond right now. And I'm going to guess he's going to get a spare in this frame. Oh. Missed that. Well, I'm Brian Liss. I'm your uh, host for today uh, here at Tibbalane's Bowling Alley in Abington, Massachusetts. And he gets a nine in the fifth frame.
so after five, Bob Lee has a 48. And here comes James Humes, ready to take on Bob Lee. And James Bowles is his first ball on the first frame of the first string. And James is a pretty good bowler, too. He bowls in my Tuesday night men's league here in Aberton. And James gets a eight frame on the first on the first uh, box. But uh, bowlers shouldn't be discouraged getting an eight after after one frame. Oh, incredible shot. James is an incredible bowler. I'm going to do that. And I have a radar detector with me, and J James is bowling uh, 20, 26 mile an hour uh, ball right now. So, yeah, he's throwing a lot of heat right now. Still 26 mile an hour ball. 26 mile an hours. And after three, James has a 27 with a spare fill coming up. Here comes James. He's throwing his fill. And James ends up with a five fill after three frames on a spare. Here comes the next ball. And James has a 41 after four. So the chances of James throwing a seven and tying Bob Lee right now is pretty good, but I'm not gonna guess that he's gonna be doing that. I'm I'm guess James is thinking spare all the way on this on this fifth frame. And here he goes. And he gets a spare in the fifth frame. So after five, James Humes has a fifty one with the spare fill coming up versus Bob Lee with a forty eight after five. And Bob is on alley sixteen, ready to bowl his last five boxes in String number one. And here he goes. Bowls his first frame. And frame number six. And Bob has one more ball left in the sixth frame. That's what we have. And Bob is going back to his string of tens right now. Bob Lee has another ten. And Bob has a 58 after six right now. So the winner of this match tonight gets a really good prize. He'll get a hug from the host right behind this microphone.
and a congratulations of being the champion of, of this of this bowling match. And Bob has a 67 after seven frames. Bob Lee with a 67 after seven. On to the eighth frame in alley 16. Oh, he just missed the strike. Now he has a lot of lumber down there. So does he go for the pin or does he go for the lumber and try to ricochet the ball off? Oh. It's pretty tricky doing that. Make your decision. Go for the pin, go for the wood. Go for the dead wood. Back to the string of tens. He has a 77 after eight. Bob is throwing a really good ball today. And he is throwing. Bob Lee clocked in at 32 miles per hour on his on his row. So Bob Lee is throwing six more miles than James Humes. But in canopy bowling, speed does not determine how well of a bowler you are. It's more of uh, accuracy. So you can't determine how well a bowler is on how fast your ball is. That's just my point of view. <laughs> So Bob is Bob has an 86 after nine frames. Ninety-four in the first string for Bob Lee. James has bowled a six fill for his spare, and he is, he missed getting another spare. And James is still throwing a 26 mile per hour ball right now. After six, James has a 64. On, on to the seventh frame for James Humes, residing from Milton, Massachusetts. Oh, he just missed that strike. We had two bowlers missing a strike on the same alley, same pins, except James has a lot of wood right now, and he hits the spare. James Humes. Three spares in the first string, 74 after seven, with the spare fail coming up. And here comes James's first ball for his fill. And he ends up with a six fill. 
So he's going to be going for the full horseman right now. And he hits it with another spare. James Humes with a 90 after eight frames with a spare fill box coming up. Here he goes. Oh, he hit the spread eagle. That's a four fill. That was a very good attempt to get another spare. And he ends up with a 10. So James Humes has a 104 after nine frames in the first string. So he has a 10 pen lead on Bob Lee. Here he goes, 10th frame. Punches out two. Hey, he just missed another spare. After the first string, James Humes with a 113, Bob Lee with a 94. Are you live on YouTube? Uh, YouTube, I think Facebook. Oh, you are? Oh, cool. And we we are live on Facebook and YouTube. So, if you love this broadcast and you love the commentary right now, we just started the second string. We're here at Timberlane's Bowling Alley, and we have a really cool match going on with Bob Lee and James Humes, and James Humes just won the first string with a 113, and Bob Lee had a 94. So Bob just got a spare in his first box in the first frame at the beginning of the second string. So I think he's more determined now to beat James in the second string. I don't think he wants to go down uh, without a fight. <laughs> Look at that, eight fill, seven fill, I'm sorry. Here he goes. He has a lot of wood down there on alley 15. Oh, he just missed another spare. Leaving a lone pin in the back of the alley with no wood behind it or around it. Missed it by that much. After two frames, Bob Lee has a 26. So if you love this broadcast and you want to see more Friday afternoon bowling, uh, just leave us a comment. Uh, Candle Pen Bowling. Coming to you live from Timberlane's Bowling Alley in Edmonton, Massachusetts. And if there's any bowling pros out there who want to come down here and take on Bob Lee or James Humes, just uh, drop us a message and we'll gladly take on any uh, challengers uh, down here. And we'll do it live on Facebook and YouTube. And maybe we can set up a date for future uh, telecasts. There we go. Bob Lee has another spare. 
So he has, probably has bookend spares in the first and the third box right now. And he has a 36 after three. Ooh, Bob just hit another spare. I think Bob Lee is really determined to beat James Humes in the second string. And he has a 50 at the four frames, and he has a spare fill coming up in this frame in this box. Here he goes. And another four fill. Chopping away, getting closer and closer to a hundred right now. A lot of one piece of wood bound down there. I think he has a pretty good shot of getting a ten right now. Oh, and he ends up with an eight. <laughs> he should have had a 10, but after five, Bob Lee has a 62, and here comes James Humes, ready to defend his 113 score from the first string. And James is going, he's like, I'm not gonna, I wanna start with a strike. Yeah. So, James gets a spare. So, James and Bob, they have matching spares in the first frame. And it's like, James is going, it's like, you can't beat me. Wow, what an incredible fill. James has an eight fill on his first frame. And here comes the second bar. Two spares in a row for James Humes. So after two right now, James has a 28 with a spare fill box coming up. I'd like to say this has been a really, this has been a really good uh, match today. And James has a five fill after two frames. Here comes the next box. Just missed that. He was thinking spare all the way on that box. And James ends up with an eight. So after three, James Humes has a 41. James on his fourth frame. James has three pins on the right, two on the right, three, three pins on the left, two on the right. Here comes his third ball in the fourth frame. And James ends up with a 10. James has a 51 after four. And we're here in the second string. Uh, James is on his fifth frame right now. He's going to go for its spare. He just missed that. <laughs> and 
and here comes the last five five boxes in the second string. So after five, Bob Lee has a 62, James Humes with a 58. And Bob Lee is on fire right now. Bob was going, I was like, you can't come back and beat me? And Bob Lee with a spare in the sixth frame. Bob is thinking, I'm going to beat that 113 of James Humes from the first string. And Bob has a seven fill on that box. Now Bob has a piece of wood down down there on his on that frame, and he's bowling his second ball right now. Oh, he just missed the spare. That must have hurt. That's gonna come back and hurt maybe. Here comes his third ball. And Bob Lee ends up with a 10. After seven, Bob Lee has an 89. And we're here in the second string down at Timberlane's Bowling Alley in Abington, Massachusetts on just Friday, December 8th, 2022. Yeah, we're, uh, the, the pin is still moving. I, I say Bob should aim for the V or those two pins to get that spare. Right in the V. Well, he missed the V, but he got the spare. That was a good. That was a good box. Bob Lee has a 99 right now after eight frames, and he has a spare fill coming up. And here comes the spare fill. Wow, eight, an eight fill with the possibility of another spare. Oh, I don't think that was where he wanted to throw the ball. He ends up with a 10, but the ball, that pin did slide over, so. Ends up with a 9, I'm sorry. So after 9. Bob Lee has a 116. So he beat James's first string, but he's going to go for more pins. Bob is attempting to go for more pins. They get get an even higher score than James did in the first string. He missed a spare. So right now he has a 124 right now with two pins left. So he ends up at the 125 after the second string. So after two, Bob Lee has a 125. Oh, 
Wow. James Hughes just got a spare. Did you see that? That was incredible. James was like going is like 125. You can't. I'm not going to I'm not going to fall to a 125. James has his third ball. James James has a nine. Drop in the seventh frame. And after seven, James Humes with an 80 right now. And here he goes in the eighth frame. Oh, look at that. Now, I'm going to say he should be all he should be set up for a spare right now, but it's never guaranteed in this house. They got a spare, but he just got one. So, after 8, James Humes has a 90 with a spare fill coming up. And here he goes with the spare fill. Nine in the eighth frame. Oh, again, eight an eight drop. That was perfect throw. Here he goes, another spare for James Humes. The James Humes after nine. Boxes with a 108 and a spare fill coming up. Oh, that must have hurt. Yeah, four. So here we come to the second frame. The third. Third ball coming up. Oh, well, well, coming back. So after two, Bob Lee has a 125. James Humes has a 120. Here we are at the beginning of the third string. Uh, Bob Bobley missed a spare. In the beginning of the third string right now. They end up at a ten. Oh, so Bob! Bob had a spare in the beginning of the second string, right? And now he's going back to his string of uh, tens right now. So James still has a commanding lead right now after two, two strings, even though Bob Lee got a one twenty-five. So James Humes has a, a, a 233 right now after two frame two strings. Uh, 
if I had to put my money on either one of these bowlers right now, I'm going to say I'd have to put my money on James Humes of uh, being the favorite to win this match right, right now. So we, we have Bob Lee. He's up there right now bowling. A really good, incredible bowling pro. And we're here in the third string right now. Oh, a very odd gutter ball for Bob Lee. So Bob Lee, he's been bowling for a long time. He's probably up there with the uh, bowlers like Donnie Richmond, uh, Craig Holbrook, uh, Matt Nichols, Chris Jones, um, all those incredible uh, Canopin bowlers that have been bowling a long time. So how many of you out there listening right now or watching us on YouTube and Facebook would love to see Bob Lee take on uh, Chris Jones, Matt Nichols, uh, Donnie Richmond, or Craig Holbrook on a Friday afternoon down here at Timberlanes and we can go live on Facebook and YouTube. Uh, and maybe the winner will get a... Uh, a free uh, pizza at Lucci's uh, Pub at Timberlands Bowling Alley. Did I say free? Oh, we'll figure it out. <laughs> At the four right now, uh, Bob Lee has a 38 for the four fill on his spare. Uh, here in the middle of the second string. Misses another 10. After five, Bob Lee has a 51. And here comes, here comes James Humes. Ready to defend his uh, his lead right now. And James Humes opens up the third string with a strike. He's like going in your face, Bob Lee. Do you think he could beat me? I don't think so. That's a I think that's what James Humes is thinking. And here he goes. First ball. On his frame of a strike. James has a 28 after two. Here we go. James Humes is throwing some serious heat right now here in the third string. In the first two strings, James Humes was throwing a a 26 mile per hour ball and now he went up a he went up a a notch and he's throwing a 27 a mile an hour ball Yeah. 
There he goes. We're in the fourth frame in the third string. James Humes, bowling, residing from Milton, Massachusetts. James is an avid bowler. He bowls in the uh, Tuesday night men's league down here at Timberlands in Edmonton, Massachusetts. I've bowled against him many, many times, and he's a really good challenge. Really good challenge to bowl against him. Look at that. Another strike. Book end strikes. One in the first frame. And it's like, oh, I'll get another one in the fifth frame. And I'll sit down and get ready to bowl my fill when I come back up on 16. Bob Lee shaking his head. He's like, look what I got to do to, to beat him. And here he goes. Bob Lee, sixth frame. And in the third string, oh, Bob answers the sixth frame with a strike. And that was a commanding strike. That wasn't just any ordinary strike. That was a strike saying, I'm going to come back and beat you. Here we go. First box for, for the fill. Oh, that was tipping. Jump. <laughs> that pin was tipping. That should have been a spare. So after seven frames... In the third string, Bob Lee has an 80 right now. Over James Humes, who is waiting to go up and fill his 53 strike fill. Here come Bob Bob Lee's third ball third third ball in the eighth frame. And he ends up with a nine on the eighth frame. So after eight boxes in the third string, Bob Lee has an eighty-nine with two more frames to go. And here we go. Bob Lee getting set on the ninth frame. He throws it. And he ends up with the diamond. Set up on this frame. And here comes the second ball. Second ball coming up. He set. He throws. And he misses the spare. Now the diamond setup is usually the easiest spare that any bowler can get. If you hit it right. And he ends up with a nine on the ninth frame and the third string. So after nine, Bob Lee with a 98. Now, right now, he's four better than the first string. So he has a possibility of getting a spare right now. I don't want to talk too soon, but I don't want to jinx him. Here he goes. Bob Lee. Second ball. Second ball. 
Oh, he misses the spare. He's staring at that right now. He took a long stare after he threw that ball. I was like, how did that miss? Bobbly, after at the end of the third string with a 108. Here we go. Another spread eagle. At the beginning of the sixth frame, but he has his fill right now on the strike. So he has a five. That's a brutal five fill on that. The James, after six frames, has a 66. So James ended up with a, a 10 box in the seventh frame. He has a 76 after seven right now with three frames to go in the third string. He bowls. Uh, there's a possibility this could end up as a spare. If you hit that head pin the right way, it should kick over to the right. And it didn't go. I think he wanted to go over to the other side of the head pin. He sliced the head pin over to the right. Another 10. So James has an 86 after 8 right now. Yeah, his third ball coming up on the ninth frame. He throws. Another 10. So what James Humes needs another mark so he can put an explanation point on this string. And say, I'm a better bowler than Bob Lee. That's what James Hughes was thinking. And he nailed the spare. <laughs> it wasn't a strike. I was hoping a strike. But James Hughes ended up with a spare on the last frame. And here he goes. With the spare fill. So James Hughes with a 111. Here we go. We're going to be starting the, the fourth string right now.
So Bob Lee, at the beginning of the fourth string, has a uh, eight box. So he misses his normal uh, ten box. Here we are, Bob Lee bowling down here at Timberlanes on a, uh, a very cold, blistery Friday afternoon on December 8th, 2022. At 9th? Yeah, December 9th. Oh, December 9th, I'm sorry. I, I think it's the 8th, but it's not the 8th. It's the 9th. Yesterday was the 8th. But if you're watching right now, I'm sure people will be leaving some comments in the chat saying, It's the 9th. <laughs> No comments about that yet. No? No comments about that? Do we have any comments? Yeah. Wow, let's see. Oh, I want to give a shout out to uh, some people right now. Uh, Matt Nichols is a. Oh, I'll be at Timberland shortly. Hey, bring it, Matt Nichols. I'm not dressed for bowling, but you can come down. William Lugo. That, I want to give a shout out to William Lugo, uh, Justin Thayer, uh, who else? Dave. Oh, Dave Pearson. Ah, cool. Cool. Everybody else watching on uh, YouTube or Facebook, um, share this with all your friends and. Let everybody know that uh, Canna Pimbolin is back. Massachusetts Classic. Yeah, Massachusetts Classic Bowling is, is coming back. The sport that no other television network wants to cover. Canna Pimbolin is real, real bowling. over 10 pin bowling and I'd be willing to take a challenge on that any day can pin bowling is more challenging than 10 pin that's what I think oh you you know oh you know I want a rematch of course I want a rematch I don't want to embarrass Matt Nichols on live television and have him uh, cry <laughs> if I beat him. <laughs> and then I would have video proof that I can actually beat Matt Nichols. So after five, Bob Lee has a 51. So. Matt Nichols is like, I, I just don't want to embarrass you on live television that you come down here and I end up uh, wh whipping you and saying that y y you got to back it up and just say, oh, I'm coming down. <laughs> I mean, it's not like you're going to sneak up on me right now while I'm talking live on YouTube. I mean, I almost beat you the other night. I mean, it was three pins. I lost to you by three pins. Hey Brian, there's an action going on. It's what? Action going on. I know. <laughs> and uh, James, James Hughes just started the, uh, the third string. And James and Bob, they both started off with an eight. Two pins short of a spare or a ten. Fourth string. Fourth string. Oh no, I got I got all the scores over here.
So J James has a commanding lead right now on, uh, oh, look at that. Eight with a spare in the second frame. Wow, that's incredible. Oh, look at this. I have a, I have a special guest right now standing next to me. I got a Matt Nichols. How you doing? Oh, I'm doing great. You ready to lose to me in a little bit? <laughs> I came just to bull you. Oh, you did? <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> uh, James has back-to-back -back spares. He's like, he's like going. He's like, I'm gonna put this away early. And I'm going to beat Bob uh, in the third string. So right now, after three frames, uh, James Humes has a 37. All right, has another five, Phil. Uh, this has a possibility of dropping right now. Oh, he missed that. Wow, look at that. So after four frames, uh, James Humes has a 48. Here in the middle of the uh, fourth string, here at Timberlane's Bowen Alley in Edmonton, Massachusetts. And that's a delayed, that's a delayed strike. It's like, oh, I'm knocked the pins down. And one stood up, and ah, I'll go over. Nice. And look at that. James, James Hughes broke the alley. <laughs> Very nice strike, James. We're doing this. We're not doing this live on TV. What? You want to bowl me live? Perfect. That's fine. <laughs> extended, extended coverage of a non-ACST match. Nichols I, versus Liss. <laughs> hey, here's your chance to shine in the limelight. I, th I think we should wait and do it with Sakon on. Uh... No, no, we should do this a little after. <laughs> I'll be here right now. The people want to see a match. Let's give them a match. Oh, we got a match on Tuesday coming up with me. Oh, this is a preview. Oh, it's a preview. This is a preview of the match. If you want to get yourself out there, here you go. Here's your chance. You <laughs> might end up on the world's team. You never know. <laughs> yeah, the world's team would be good. Do, do you think my bowling scores could knock Craig Bolt Holbrook out of the, the world's team? Maybe if Craig Bolt righty. Possibility? <laughs> maybe. Blindfolded as well, maybe. Yeah. It's still only a maybe, I hate to tell you. <laughs> so we're here in the we're here in the uh, fourth string. Bob Lee has a sixty one after He has a sixty nine now. A sixty nine after seventy seven actually right now after seven. Attempting to make a comeback and uh, and beat uh, James Humes. I can see a possibility of him being the but I'm not sure. I'm just going to fade the side. Right over here. That's kick the side of here. Right now, Bob has a 77. He has a six pin standing up right now. Bob Lee here in the eighth frame with a seven box. So after eight, Bob Lee has an 84 here in the fourth frame, fourth string. Let's see if he can tie 
Now this could be a difficult spare if he's going to go for this. He needs a mark in one of these last two boxes to make James Humes come back and win. Oh, and he nails that spare. What was the spare? That that was the spare. He needs. Uh, he need. He needs a. Uh, he needs a mark in the last two boxes. To make James Humes. Well, technically he's ahead right now. I know. I mean, anything can happen in the last five frames. I've seen a lot of weird things happen in this game. I've been part I, of I, and, uh, You have. So how hard is it to get this despair right now? To, after after a film. Uh, he's got a. I mean, he's got a piece of wood that. I mean, your only option is to try playing. I hit the. the what would you What tip. would you do? Would you I aim for the, the right? Tip. I hit the left tip of that piece of wood. Well, the gutter isn't going to do anything. No, the gutter it won't. Gutter won't help. So, <laughs> Bob's going for an eight box. Makes James's road a little bit. Not yeah. an easy cake walk, but no. it's not exactly a difficult road. But once again, this is a funny game. Anything can happen. It, it is. Only well, needs 50 pins with two balls. True. Barring, barring anything crazy happening. And now James Humes comes should be two back more. on to the back of the swing. There's <laughs> 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 James Humes coming up for the last five frames in the, th in the fourth string. Anything can happen. And he's on a strike fill right now. He just threw his first box, first ball. Is anything gonna happen right now? His changes. Oh, he just missed another spare. So close. Huh? That was really close. So after six boxes. James Humes has a 76 with four, four, four boxes ago here in the fourth string. That is one point lower with the ball counting the seventh frame. Yeah, that's what the ball counting. So we're down here in Abington at Timberlane's Bowling Alley. Um, and we're here in the uh, the fourth string. James Hughes is up there bowling. So you, if you ever come down here to Timberlane's uh, Bowling Alley, we got uh, Lucci's Restaurant. Which is right attached to the bowling alley, which is the bar inside the the, the lanes here. So if you ever come down, you gotta try Uncle Lou's barbecue sauce. I mean, that is incredible. You also need to try their ice cream sundaes. Oh, and the ice cream sundaes. Those are really cool too. As James Humes picks up a great spirit. And James Hughes has nailed another spare. <laughs> you should be taking lessons, Brian. You yes. should be taking notes. <laughs> and here he goes with his fill. Hume is right in the one three five at least. Diamond left. Another diamond. Now isn't it true that the diamond is the easiest uh, setup you can get a spare on? Just like that. I find the diamond is a little bit harder than you might think to carry the back fin, depending on how you play it. If you play it too light, sometimes that back fin does not like to go. And it's also easy to play that a little bit too full, and you punch out the two in the middle. True. James Hughes with 111. Let's see what's going to happen in the 10th frame. So he has a six fill on the uh, on the spare. 
And here comes the second box. The second ball. Missed the spare. Right now, I he already uh, he already beat uh, Bob Lee. You know, the one, the 126. So right now, after four strings, James Humes has a 470, Bob Lee with a 435. What does Bob Lee need to do to come back and beat James Humes? He needs to gain 36 pins on him to beat him. That's what he needs to do. <laughs> Probably needs a game. He does need a game. He needs a really good game. <laughs> we got two great players playing against each other here. We got Bob Lee, James Humes, two of the greatest can of bowlers of all time up there right now. And Chris Jones, if you're out there watching right now, not to take anything away from you, you are a great bowler too. So. Ooh. Oh. 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 That almost went. <laughs> that was so close. is set, and he throws the ball. After two, Bob Lee has an 18. Third frame. Here he goes, Bob Lee with the second ball in the third, third box, and he misses everything. Actually, Mike, uh, no, Mike Boyle called him second. Yeah, he was supposed to be on a three, so technically. And time is slowly ticking away from Bob Lee here. Oh, it's it a is. Miracle at this he point. does need a miracle. Anything can happen in, in the next seven and it is boxes. The, and it is the perfect time of year for a miracle. It's not over until it's over. Wow, great analysis, Brian. Great analysis. That's why there's 10 frames of bowling, because anything can happen in the last five frames of bowling. ESPN 8 is going to be calling you tonight. <laughs> I've seen bowlers throw triple strikes sometimes in the last five frames of their boxes just to wow. come back and win. I've seen a couple throw three strikes against you with to beat you by about 70 pins in the full box. Oh, really? <laughs> 
When did this happen? Is there video proof of this ha actually happening? <laughs> I have witnesses. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and if I had him pull up the security footage from that back then, I'm sure I could get it. <laughs> That's cool. Here we go. Bobbly in the fifth Bobbly frame. Throws it into the corner here. He needs. Uh, he needs to. He, he needs to get this mark to have any real some, chance at. He's throwing some serious heat too. He's throwing maybe a little bit too much heat, I think. So we're here in the fifth string, and Bob Lee is still throwing. There's a good ball. Look at that, 33 mile an hour ball. Yeah, it's about on average for Bob, actually. Have you seen bowlers throw faster than 33? I throw 39. Timmy Douglas throws 43. Has anyone ever thrown uh, baseball speeds before? No? <laughs> Here we go. Fifth frame. Fifth, the fifth frame. Hold on. Fifth string. Well, James Humes can actually pick up a spare on this first box. And there he goes. A spare. In the first box in the fifth string for James Humes. James is defending his lead right now. And he's like, I'm going to start early. And then I'm going to get a strike. So James Humes starts off the fifth string with a spare strike. And it's like, I want to end this game early and just put it away. And here he goes. Oh, he punches out two. That's a five fill on the strike. So after three, James Humes has a forty one. Wow, look at that. James is on fire right now. James leaves the 457 with a semi favorable piece of wood. And, oh, it just trailed on the end. I think he might have had it if he hit it. Yeah, that would have gone. A decent nine for him. 50 after 4. 50, 50 after 4. So James is uh, sitting on a, a six pin lead over Bob Lee with a box right now coming up. With a strike. Oh, and another, another strike. Box. And another strike. Fire. James is on fire. So James has a, a, a 60 with a with a strike uh, fill coming up when he comes back up for the last so how five boxes. How you feeling, boxes. Brian? About your Cannibal Bowling Network debut? Uh, pretty good. You feeling pretty good? Yeah, right. pretty good. Are we gonna get to see some extended coverage soon? Uh, maybe. Maybe. Yeah. You a little afraid to bowl me now? Uh, no. We only have the alleys and so forth. <laughs> I I feel good about my debut with working the many can. What's your name again? Matt. Matt. Are you kind of what? Alicia. 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 Uh, my name is Joseph Forrest. My, my name is Alicia Klosky. Yeah, I'm going to do from the uh, mixed world. Oh, nice. Yeah, I I was originally doing video on that camera over there. 
But I tripped on the the HDMI cable and broke it, so. That's why you saw some of the struggle when I was doing it earlier. Oh, Bobbly, Bobbly has a 53 after 6 right now. And he drops a spare in the seventh box. So maybe this is the opening that Bob Lee needs to start his run all the way to the tenth frame. Bob Lee really needs a double here, if anything. It's about the only way he's going to get total. Right now, he's at least trying to get two. At least if he gets another couple of marks here and a strike in there somewhere, he can. Uh, Make a run at maybe the game, but so he, totals pretty much. He has a six. I don't see him six drop. This back. might this might make two. He, he could really get another needs one. To make this. And he makes and it. And he makes it. Wow. Not conventional way to make it, but wow, what a shot up there! For and went, dropped. All right, so he's still got life on there. There's there's a pulse. A heartbeat. And, uh, on That's his what, on exactly his, what a pulse is. Brian. On his ball. <laughs> I think they made a song about that. Looking for a heartbeat. Yes, they did. And another six, six, and again for him. I mean, this one's a little bit. Another easy spare. Not really easy, but unconventional. This is a, yeah, it's kind of hard. Basically, have to throw a strike ball, and he shoots it through the hole. He had the right idea. You have to go through that spot. But you have to hit the head pin on the left side in order to get the, little, the pins on the right. Well, either, you can either hit it light on the right side or light on the left side. Uh, you have to hit the head pin a little bit light on the right Yeah. So Bobbly after, really needs a, at least a mark right here and a high fill to even make it somewhat difficult for James. But the way James has been throwing right now, I say this one... Is that a reach? It's a pretty good swing towards James. Oh, he drops wow. Okay. So close to a strike. That should have been a strike. He could possibly get a spare. And he hits the strike. Hits the spare on his tenth frame. Got his game up right so he has a a one on one right now. Well, that is Phil right now. <laughs> and a two Phil. <laughs> and that's a one oh a one oh three in the fifth ball in the fifth spring. Yes. James has hit a double strike. Came up on the sixth frame and nailed another strike. I was like, he can beat Bob Lee's 103 even before the fifth string is over. Seven? Yeah, eight, seven. Yep. And he hits another mark. That's a spare. So right now, James Humes in the fifth string after seven frames 
as a 107 with a spare fill coming up. As of now, he's defeated Bob Williams. As of right now, James Humes has just defeated Bob Lee. Walks in and is like, comes in and defeats him. No, yep, and it's another spare. So right now, after eight frames, James Humes has a 126 with a spare fill coming up. Missed another, missed another spare. Yes. Wow. After nine frames, James Humes has a 142. So James needs an eight to get 150. Right now he has a 150 right now. One ball to go. So our final score for today's match after five strings, James Humes has a 620, and Bob Lee has a 538. James Humes is the winner yeah. of the match. Every time I come into Abington, one of you guys throws a 600, I throw a 540, and I'm blown away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you bowling stuff? Let's go. You really want to do this on live TV? Oh, I want to do this on live TV. All right. How can I do it? Well, let's turn the stream on.